the mirror and tell me what you see. You see Junior. You see Junior. Well, you want to know what I see? I see pride. I see power. I see a badass mother who don't take no crap of nobody. You really see all that? Yeah, man. But it's not about what I see. It's about what you see. Retain gang, what's poppin', man? This your boy Tay, back at y'all again. Yo, I appreciate y'all for clicking on this video, man. Make sure y'all follow all my socials, like the video, and hit that bell. Show your boy some love. I greatly appreciate you. Semen retention is not a religion. Semen retention is not a religion. It is a tool that you utilize to have a better life. It is a tool that you utilize to create a better reality for yourself. So I wanna get this straight right off the bat. I think a lot of guys treat this journey as something that they have to worship when in reality this energy you treat this energy like money okay if you have money in your bank account you know whatever you're not going to just be outside throwing money out in the street you're not going to be giving your money away to anybody without no purpose you wouldn't do that so with your spiritual finances which is your, your seed, your energy. You need to have more discernment with how you spend that. And this is what this journey teaches you. See, for myself, when I first started my journey, I woke up because it made me realize that I was just giving my energy away freely to everybody, to anybody. And I'm not just talking about releasing my seed, I'm talking about just speaking to people or thinking about people thinking about situations, just losing my energy because you lose your energy by thinking. When you think about somebody, you're actually giving them your energy, okay? So don't just think when you lose your seed that that's the only way you can lose it, no. All this is your spiritual currency. So it made me realize that I need to take more better care of my energy, of myself. I had to go back within because it forced me to. So this is what this journey teaches you. It's going to make you realize how important you are. It's going to make you realize that you need to love yourself a little bit more. You know, be proud of yourself. Cherish yourself. That's what Retain Gang is all about. Retain Gang is about retaining your self-love, your self-respect, everything about yourself. Retain knowledge about yourself. Gain that connection with the Most High God which is inside of you. Okay, it's not a religion, it's a tool. No different than your car. No different than you eating food. You know, food, you use food to give you energy to be able to complete a task throughout your day. You don't worship your food, you don't worship water. So this is not something that you worship. I don't want you guys thinking that. Cause I think some guys take their journey a little too serious. And what I mean by that is you just beat yourself up along the way. You talk down on yourself along the way. You make one mistake, you fall down one time, two times, and you're ready to give up. You think that you're a failure, and that's not true. You're just learning about yourself. You're going through growing pains, all right? That's all that is, growing pains. So you have to understand that balance is key you have to have balance in your life because if you don't have balance the weight's going to be off you're going to tip the scales in one way and it's going to keep your life in chaos all right so for my guy that's retaining when you retain your seed you might have wet dreams here and there that's the balance okay because you're not releasing your energy through that outlet so what your body does is it creates balance. It creates harmony within itself by clearing out any junk, clearing out any 
anything that's not needed. You feel what I'm saying? So you guys don't have to beat yourselves up when you have wet dreams. I know a lot of guys, they they just in their head. Anytime they had that nocturnal emission, they're in their head. They think they lost benefits. You guys think that it's the end of the world, and it's not. It's going to happen, man. You know, some things you can't control. You can prevent, but some things have to happen because you have to have balance. All right. Now, I don't want you guys thinking that you can't be with a woman. You have to hate women. That's not what retention is all about. Retention is all about gaining self-love. And when you gain that self-love, that self-love will reflect out to others. It will reflect out into the world. Your perspective is going to change in that view. One of the most important things about this journey is having self-control. Self-control and just being aware of how you spend your energy. Being aware of the company that you keep. Being aware of your surroundings. That's the level that this journey brings you to is self-awareness. You're not ignorant of yourself. You're not ignorant of your urges, of your impulses, of your animalistic self. You see, a person who doesn't strive for self-control, they can't control their lower nature. What's going to happen is they're going to be a slave to their impulses, to their urges, to their desires. To that lust they can't control it they're going to be an autopilot and what's going to happen is they're going to be met with surprises and instant gratification pleasure with no effort this is where the corn come from looking at the cheeks and you losing your seed but you didn't put no effort in to do that and you didn't gain anything from it now you just left dry you just lost all your money what was the purpose of that? So the point is for you to gain self-control so you can look at these things and be like, wait, all right, no, this is not good for me. I can give a little energy here. This is not good for me. You have great discernment. You're able to pick and choose what to invest your energy into, okay? Don't treat this like a religion because you're not worshiping anything. It's just a tool for yourself. You know, I get a lot of comments from guys who say that retention brought them closer to God. It brought them closer to peace and harmony and the divine. That connection with the universe, with nature. Why is that? Because you're showing love for yourself. You redirect all your energy inward, building up your supplies, building up your body, building up your immune system. That's showing self-love. You're going to be in harmony with yourself. And by you being in harmony with yourself, that's going to reflect outward. This is why your connection is so much stronger to everything else. And you start to see everything for what it really is. The longer you stick on this journey, the more it's going to benefit you in the long run. All right. But you got to make sure that you're not investing your energy in the wrong things. Fear hate jealousy envy you got to put your energy in the right direction love peace change gratitude appreciation confidence redirect your energy towards those thoughts and you're going to see your life change i see too many guys who focus on the negative focus on down talking themselves focus on pessimistic thoughts and while you're holding on to your seed you cannot do that because you you are like a magnet you attract things into your life faster so what do you think is going to happen when you have a pessimistic thought what do you think is going to happen when you speak to yourself in a negative tone a negative way you don't have confidence in yourself what type of reality do you think you're going to create from that Okay, so this whole journey makes you aware of these things. Like I said, again, it's not a religion. It's not something that you worship. I think a lot of people look at this and say, oh, it's just another cult or it's a religion. And it's not. It's no different than all the tools that you use in your daily life to make your life better. 
to help assist you in your daily tasks. It's the same thing. It's just inward. It's inside of you. Okay. So for my fellas, man, and for the guys who's hearing about this for the first time, it's important for you to have self-awareness. Just know what's going on inside your body. Okay. Everybody does this for different reasons. Some folks do this journey because, you know, it's no different than working out. You might want to become fit for your health because you want to look good. Or you might just want to challenge yourself. It might be a hobby for you. Everybody has their different reasons. So for this journey, you might want to go on this journey, you know, to find yourself. You might go on this journey to heal. You might go on this journey to get on your life's purpose. We all have different reasons. So you might not be on retention forever. Nothing wrong with that. You might want to do monk mode and, and never release again. That's okay. But the key point in this journey is you realizing what's good for you. You understanding that you have energy inside of you and you need to take care of that and spend wisely. Have financial awareness. Okay. And I just want to bring this quick video to y'all, man. Don't worship retention. Use it as a tool to create the best life possible, to create your reality. All right. Retain gang. It's your boy Tay. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all have a beautiful day, man, and I'm out. Peace.